Waxing nostalgic with Chick Fix's toilet. This toilet seat is cracked and clearly needs to be replaced, but the reason I'm feeling a little bit nostalgic about that is because these little scratches of paint here are uh, from when we had another little toilet seat that would sit on top of it for uh, my daughters when they were um, potty training. Aww. And my youngest is now 11 years old, so clearly this thing's held up for a long time. But looking at it now, I'm a little tiny bit sad about having to take it out, but it's gotta be done. Every time you sit on it, it pinches your butt. If you've never done this before, this is actually surprisingly easy. On mine, it's got these little covers over the screws on the back, and the screw on mine is actually a plastic flathead screw. And then on the bottom, it's got a little bolt that you can actually hold on to with your fingers. Yours might be metal, and in that case, you might need a pair of pliers or something like that to hold on to it and start spinning. All right, see? All right, then do the other side. Then, oh, it just lifts right off. It's a little grody though. I think I'm gonna clean it first. <laughs> now, one thing you gotta keep in mind with toilets, generally speaking, they are uh, universal sizes, but some are round and some are oval shaped. So when you go to the store, make sure you check first. All right, now this toilet seat that I bought has these metal hinges on it. The old one had these plastic hinges and the reason I went for the metal ones is a lot of times the plastic ones over time can break, especially if you have uh, little kids, you know, where there's a lot of people in the house using it. You might wanna consider getting one that's got the metal hinges on it. These bolts actually come in three parts. You got this guy here, you got a little piece here and then you've got this guy that looks kind of like a, a chest piece, like a little rook. We'll put that guy right there. Now, to do this, you take the long bolt and twist it in there until you can't twist it in anymore. All right, and then you're gonna take this next little piece here and twist it in like that. Oh, actually, you don't even have to twist it. You just slide it on there. Then just set the new seat on the toilet so that the screws go through the holes. Use your little rook piece and tighten up as tight as you can by hand. And then use a half inch wrench to tighten it up a little bit more. But make sure you don't over tighten it because you can actually crack the porcelain of your toilet and then you've got a much bigger issue on your hands. All right, I'm done. And that was actually pretty easy. It only took about 10 minutes. And look at that soft close feature so it won't slam down. Sweet! And all it really took was a half inch wrench and a flathead screwdriver. And that's it. Pretty easy. It's actually so easy I'm kind of surprised I'm making a video about it. But some of y'all out there might not know and I hope it helps you. And hey if you liked watching this video comment below, give me a like, or subscribe to my channel. Come wax nostalgic with me on today's episode of the Chick Fix Toilet. That's dumb. And all it took was a half inch screwdriver, a half inch screwdriver, and a flathead wrench. What? <laughs> you don't want to know the atrocities I have seen. The horror.